Alright, hey everybody. Welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'd like to talk about recording TV shows. Um, Linux MC has a great interface for doing that, but there's actually a more powerful way that you can do it too for you power users out there who want to have more control over their recordings. So, I want to show you how and hopefully, you know, help you guys get into this project because it's Linux MCE is awesome. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the live TV. And I've I got another video on how to set this up so that it'll look like mine, so that it will have you know channel icons and channel the appropriate channel names, not just you know adding channel five, adding channel six, because that's what happens if you just scan for the channels. But see my other video for that. All right, so I push the media button. I'm in the live TV, and then I push media and go up and down. And on the left you got the channels, on the right you've got the shows. So you can come over here and highlight the shows that you want to watch, or just one show, sorry. And you come over here to the right. This is where you select recording under this red column. Now this column for bookmarks, I'm sorry, I don't know what that does. Um, I, As far as I know, I, I think you just put checks in the, the scheduling so that you can, you know, see when the next one comes up as you're flipping through. But what you want is highlight the show and then you can either record this exact episode that's highlighted or the show itself all so if I push all a little red dot appears on this episode of Saved by the Bell but you notice right below it is another episode of Saved by the Bell and there's no red dot and actually what I found out is sometimes it doesn't appear but if you exit that and go back that's channel 15 alright and it's not doing it this time but usually if you exit and come back it then shows the red dot here and you know on every episode so don't fret about that but those seem to be the only options is that you can record just as a show or the entire show but myth tv has a whole lot more choices than, than just those two and for some reason the more button doesn't work and i don't know why it's done this on more than one installation for me but here's what i like to do get out of that go back to the tv push menu or if you are um, if you're using a mouse and keyboard it's the left mouse button come up here on the left to schedule <clears throat> and sorry I got a cold I'll be coughing a little bit but okay this takes you to all the upcoming shows that are going to be recorded and right now I'm going to switch over to keyboard because I, I just feel like it's faster so these are all the Saved by the Bell episodes and it's going to tell me you know when they're on what channel and the name of the episode itself and it also tell me if there's any conflicts like if there's two shows that are going to be on at the same time they'll show you know conflict and you can fix it here and so if I want to edit any of the recording options for Saved by the Bell as a whole push pick any episode push enter here you can do don't record which is just don't record this particular time never record which is never record this episode um, or you can edit options which is what I like to do at the top you can change the recording schedule the frequency you push enter or you can push left and right but push enter it lists them all out and it was set to record any time on this channel but Saved by the Bell might be on on another channel and let's say I want to watch that channel I you know I want to watch every episode not just this channel's episodes I can go down here to record at any time on any channel as opposed to just this channel and there's other options too like record just this episode record this time slot every week record it every day stuff like that lots of choices here I'm gonna say any time any channel and then the other thing to note in here there's a lot of really technical things like where to save it you know how big to make the file whatever but storage options you can come down here and say episode limit so let's say you only want to have 10 episodes in your your 3D you know video cube at one time you don't want to have like 30 episodes of something that you haven't gotten to you can say you know, I'll make a limit so you say only record five shows at a time so to record five episodes of um, say by the bell and we'll wait until I watch and delete one and once I delete an episode it will record the next one that's coming up so you can set that limit, you know, and that's good if you have limited hard drive space and you don't want to... Or if you're recording some show like Law & Order, which is on 
30 different stations and you can get you could fill up a hard drive really quick if you're trying to record law and order but um and then make sure you save your settings all right and then so this is the myth tv interface actually it's not the linux nce interface uh what you want to do is press escape or i think you can push left let me check yeah you can just push left and get back to the main menu and what you want to do is get to schedule recordings and this is all the these are all the options of how to record a TV show the top is the program guide and this is just the nice familiar looking one you got the channels on the left and the shows on the right and you can scroll it's laid out really nice and you can just select any show and push enter you get to that same screen and you can say just that show record the entire series you know whatever all right, and you go back to that menu. The next is Program Finder. That is simply an alphabetized version. I'm not sure if it's an exhaustive list of every possible TV show or just the shows that are found in your listings. But regardless, this is an alphabetized list. You know, and I bet it. I bet it's from your listings. I bet it's not just some random list because that would take forever to compile every TV show ever. <laughs> All right, search for listings is what I use. This is where you can actually look for keywords and stuff. You can search by title, keyword, the people in the show, which is nice. You can search by categories. You can look for movies. Uh, the movies is pretty nice. It just shows you every movie that's coming up on your actual schedule. You can say, you know, record this one, record that one. Um, but when you go back. You can go to titles, and you can input a keyword search for the title of a show. So let's say I like America's Funniest Home Videos. I type in America's, sorry, only, let's do a new phrase. Let's not do America's Funniest. Let's say I want to record The Simpsons. I type in Simpsons. And by the way, you can use the remote for this. It works just like a cell phone, you know, where you push, you know, two twice to get the letter B, or, you know, two four times to get the, the actual number two. But type it in push OK and now these are all the upcoming episodes of The Simpsons and I can push enter go in here and say record anytime any channel and save it and now boom they're all orange that means that they will get recorded and there's no conflicts I can look at them and once again I can set you know just a few episodes just this one you know stuff like that and escape and so guys this is this is huge you can do so much more with this. You can search by channel, categories. So this is genre. You know, the action, adventure, aerobics, animals, stuff like that, biographies. You know, sky's the limit on what you can do here. And so, push escape and get back to that, the schedule menu. You know, from the top, it's TV, schedule recordings. You can come down here to upcoming recordings. This is the menu that you that I brought you to in the first place. Um, it just shows you what's going to be coming up next. It's nice to look at, and it's a little more easy to see than the you know the channel menu in Linux MCE. And um, I'd say that's it, guys. There's a there's also a lot of stuff that you can do with the MythWeb interface, which is installed. I'm going to make another video that talks about that. But um, and this is also where you can delete recordings um, I don't have very many recorded yet but it asks me to you know choose the category and then these are the shows that I've recorded and I can just come over here and push enter delete you know and it's fast and you don't have to go through uh, you don't have to go through the the cube and then watch recordings is the same thing it, it lets you watch them and this time you'll be using the Myth TV interface, but you can still do the. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure if the, the navigation still works. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, so even though you're inside the Myth TV interface, it still works. But um, so I'm gonna make another video, guys. I'm running out of time, so I gotta finish quick. Stay tuned, I'm going to talk about MythWeb and what you can do with those recordings.